do not love hair. My first and only husband hated hair. He said it was clutter and dirty. He made me shave my vagina. It was puffy and exposed and like a little girl. This excited him. When he made love to me, my vagina felt the way a beard must feel. It felt good to rub it and painful, like scratching a mosquito bite. It felt like it was on fire. There were screaming red bumps. I refused to shave again. Then my husband had an affair. When we went to marital therapy, he said he screwed around because I wouldn't please him sexually. I wouldn't shave my vagina. The therapist had a German accent and gasped between sentences to show her empathy. She asked me why I didn't want to please my husband. I told her I thought it was weird. I felt little when my hair was gone down there, and I couldn't help talking in a baby voice, and it got irritated, and even calamine lotion wouldn't help it. She told me marriage was a compromise. I asked her if shaving my vagina would stop my husband from screwing around. I asked her if she had many cases like this before. She told me questions diluted the process. I needed to jump in. She was sure it was a good beginning. This time, when we got home, he got to shave my vagina. It was like a therapy bonus prize. <laughs> he clipped it a few times, and there was a little blood in the bathtub, and he didn't even notice it, because he was so happy shaving me. Then, later, when my husband was pressing against me, I could feel his spiky sharpness sticking into me, my naked, puffy vagina. There was no protection. There was no fluff. I realized then that hair is there for a reason. <laughs> it's the leaf around the flower, the lawn around the house. You have to love hair in order to love the vagina. You can't pick the parts you want. And besides, my husband never stops screwing around. <laughs>